welcome to Bottoms Down, Chair Yoga for Everyone. I'm Carol. I'm glad you joined us today. Today is day 18 of our 28-day Chair Yoga journey together. So we're going to use a yoga strap today. Now, if you don't have a yoga strap, you can substitute a necktie or a scarf, or you can just do the practice without it. So we're gonna start seated, and then we're gonna move to standing, and we'll do some standing poses, including a hand-to-toe pose using the strap. And if you like this experience, I hope you'll click the subscribe button. It is free, and leave a comment. Okay, so let's get started. So we're gonna start sitting up nice and tall and moving forward in our chair, so we're not leaning back. And we're gonna take that moment to focus on the mind and the body and the breath. So the first thing we're gonna do is ground our feet. So thinking about having both of those feet on the floor and equally weighted, and the same thing with our sits bones. So those are on that chair and they're equally weighted and we feel like we're stable. Let's lift our heart, lower the shoulders out of the ears, place the hands lightly on your thighs. Now, if you could flip those palms up to the ceiling, see how that feels, all right? We're gonna close our eyes. So, or you can soften the eyes if you're not keen on totally closing them. Focusing in on the breath and our heart center. Let's just feel that natural inhalation and exhalation. We're going to move our breath down into the diaphragm. As we inhale, the belly extends. We're filling our lungs from the bottom up. And as we exhale, we're gonna actively pull the belly button in towards the spine, pushing the air up and out of the lungs. So do that a few times. And breathe normally. Bring your hands to your heart, set your intentions for today's practice. One more breath here. Bring your hands back down to your thighs and open your eyes. We're gonna look side to side. So just taking that gaze over one shoulder and then we're gonna come center and take that gaze over the other shoulder. and come center, and let's roll those shoulders up, back and down. Ah, so let's do that again, up, back and down, and reverse it. I know, so just the other way, it doesn't matter, right? We're just rolling those shoulders, feeling that neck stretching a little bit, those shoulders stretching just a little bit. Okay, we're gonna drop our ear towards our shoulder, so I want you to just let this natural range of motion happen here. We're just going to hang out here for a few breaths, feeling that stretch on the side of the neck. You feel that? I do. Now we're going to drop our chin towards our chest. So we're just looking down at the lap and we're feeling a nice stretch to the back of the neck. Then we're going to go to the other side. So just letting that hang out for a few breaths here. One more breath. And let's go ahead and lift that head up. Wow, let's roll those shoulders again. What do you think? Maybe one at a time. And maybe move that head just a little bit. Okay, very, very good. Let's move into our mountain pose. I know we've done this one a lot. It's just such a good one to warm up the spine. It's just a really good one. So we're gonna spread those fingers nice and wide. Our shoulders are down, our belly is tight. Now we're gonna to come to those goal post arms and squeeze those shoulder blades back behind you. Fingertips up to the ceiling. We're trying to touch that ceiling. One more breath, let's bring the hands down. We're gonna do that again, just like that. Here we go, spread those fingers. 
Ah, goal post arm. Squeeze those shoulder blades back behind you, feeling that openness through the chest. Fingertips to the ceiling. Remember, keeping the shoulders down, belly stays tight. Oh yeah, that feels good. It's an active movement here, right? Lengthening up, pulling the shoulders down, and release. All right, did you feel the stretch happening, right? It's, it's amazing how much stretch we can get, and it doesn't look like we're doing much of anything, but we really are. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my thumbs to the back wall as I start into my cow pose. So think about lifting up just a little bit through the chin, having a nice open throat, all right? Thumbs to that back wall, squeezing those shoulder blades behind. Looking up a little bit if that feels okay. And then we're gonna round down into our cat pose. Hands on thighs, belly button to spine. Tuck the chin, looking down at your lap. And just hang out here, feel the stretch. Okay, let's do that again. Back, uh, thumbs to that back wall as we come into our cow pose. Inhale to prepare, exhale, come into your cat pose. Let's do that again. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Let's do two more. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Last one. Warming up that spine. Lovely. And exhale, finish up your last cat pose. Make sure you're not holding the head up. Tuck that chin. One more breath and release. Okay. We're going to move a little bit forward in our chair and I'm going to bring my right knee up and in. Now, if this doesn't work for your knee, you're going to grab behind the thigh, right? Either is absolutely fine. So the first stretch, I want you to think about crown of the head is nice and long, belly is super tight, we're lengthening up as we're pulling in. So I'm not leaning back. Does that make sense, right? Nice long spine. Okay, so now grab under that thigh, flex the foot, and I want you to push through your foot like you're trying to touch the wall in front of you. And then we're gonna bring that foot down, bend the knee, and put the foot on the floor. Let's do the same side again. Here we go, bring it in, squeeze. Lifting up nice and tall through the spine, crown of head to the ceiling, flex. We're gonna push through the heel, lengthening through that leg, put that foot on the floor, bend the knee and put that foot down. Okay, so now we're gonna do the other side. Here we go. Bring it in first and squeeze. So I'm just kind of squeezing, pulling that knee in and lengthening through the spine. Remember, you can always just hold right here if that feels better for you. Okay, now let's everybody hold under the thigh, flex the foot, try to touch the wall in front of you with that leg, place that foot down, heel down, bend the knee and put the foot on the floor. Again, bring it in, squeeze, flex, lengthen, push, Put the foot down and release. Okay, so now we're going to do that same thing, but we're, we're gonna hold on to the chair instead of our leg, okay? You'll feel the abdominals working here, okay? So abdominals and quadriceps are gonna be working pretty hard, but let's hold that chair. Let's bring that knee up, flex, push through the heel, place the heel down on the floor, bend the knee and put the foot down. Let's do the same side again, bring it in. Flex, push through, put the foot on the floor, and release. Other side, bring that knee in, flex the foot, push through the heel, try to touch that wall in front of you, don't lean back, put the foot on the floor, bend the knee, let's do it again, bring it in, flex, push, put the heel down, and bend that knee. Okay, really, really good work there. Now, we're going to do one more version of this, and this is going to be with a little exterior rotation of the knee, so you're going to begin to feel it a little more in the hip. That one you probably felt more in the quadricep and the hamstring, right? This one you're going to feel a little more in the hip. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is bring that knee in, just like we did previously. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my hand, I'm going to place it right under my ankle. Do you see what's happening there? Rotating. 
So I'm rotating that leg, keeping the knee bent. Now flex the foot. If you want a little more, you can hold on to that leg. Or if you want to try, don't hold on to the chair or the leg. There's the abdominals working a little bit more. Do you see how I maintain that external rotation? My toes are out to that side at a diagonal. Put the foot down, bend the knee, and let's do that again. Bring it in, squeeze. Externally rotate. Flex the foot. Now hold on to the leg if you want to. Hold on to the chair if you want to. Or if you're with me, pull that belly in tight. Keep that spine long, let go. Flex, push through that heel. You see how I've got that external rotation? Put that leg down, bring it in. Last time on this side, squeeze it. Externally rotate. Flex that foot. Let go or hold on, push. Place that foot down and release. Okay, how'd that feel? I feel that, a nice little stretch, right, right out here. And I'm working my abdominals. Let's do the other side. So we're going to bring it in first. Ha! <sighs> Making sure that spine is long. We're pulling that knee in, right? Belly is tight. All right, so now this is the hand I'm going to place under my ankle. Externally rotate. Flex. Push. Hold on if you wish. Hold the chair if you wish or nothing. Place that foot down and release. Bring that knee in. Don't lose that external rotation, right? So we externally rotate here. Flex. Now hold that external rotation. Toes are out to that out of corner, right? Feeling that work there. Put the foot down and release. One more. Bring it in. Squeeze. Externally rotate. Flex. Push. Place the foot on the floor. Toes up and release. How did that feel? Those are actually called seated lunges. So really good work. Now I'm going to go ahead and grab my strap. So again, if you don't have a strap, you're going to do this. Um, you can substitute the necktie or the scarf, or if you want to just do it without it, that's fine too. But you'll see how the strap will help us here. So I'm going to hook the strap under, right under that right, um, right foot and you want it on the ball of the foot, okay? So don't bring it to the arch. The arch of the foot is full of really tiny bones, right? And so we don't wanna put a lot of pressure on that, but you can put the pressure on the ball of the foot, okay? So here we go. We've got the strap hooked under that foot. Now I'm gonna extend my leg long. So what's happened here is my arm, if I were to try to do this with my hand, which is technically the way this pose would be, I would be holding on to my it's pretty challenging, right? That's a very, so all I've done now is with the strap is I've just made my arm a little bit longer and it makes this pose a little more accessible for me to, to maintain the proper form. So you've got your necktie strapped around or you've got your scarf or you've got your uh, yoga strap or you've got your hand hooked right here. Okay, so I'm gonna let you pick the version that works for you. All right. So let's just give it a little tug. There's that, that hamstring. You feel that? I know, I do too. Okay, so now your right, I'm sorry, your left hand, you're gonna grab both straps, okay? Your other arm, you can hold onto the chair if you wish, or you can bring it out to the side. Here's the important part. I'm not leaning back, right? So make sure the crown of the head stays up and we're gonna bring that leg across the midline of the body. Oh yeah, you feeling that stretch right there? Mm -hmm. Let's come center. Now grab it with the right hand. Opposite arm extends out. Now look at what I'm doing. I'm opening up. There's that inner thigh. Ha! Let's come back center. We're going to do that again on each side. Mm. And center. And then open it up. Let's come forward. Bend that knee and release. Okay. How did that feel? It's pretty good. I like this. This is just a, such a nice stretch. Okay, so we're gonna hook the ball of the strap under the ball of the foot again. Go ahead and lift that leg up. Now, if you want to just hold on to one, one strap in each hand and give a little tug for the hamstring stretch, go for it. Remember, lengthen through the crown of the head. I'm not leaning back, right? My belly is so tight here. Okay, so now 
This hand, I'm going to grab the strap, opposite arm extends out, and we'll bring that leg across the midline of the body. So it's a nice stretch right here. And the other nice thing about having the strap or the uh, necktie or the scarf is you can change the angle of this leg, right? So maybe you want to bring it up a little bit higher, maybe you want to bring it down a little bit lower. You can choose, and this gives you some options. Okay, let's grab that strap with the other hand, bring it out. Oh yeah, are you leaning back? Don't, don't do it. Let's come center again, grab that strap, open. Let's grab the strap and open it up again the other way. Oh my goodness, inner thighs. One more breath, come up, bend that knee and release. Okay, ha, everybody doing all right? Okay, we're gonna come to standing beside our chair now. So we're gonna do that same pose that we just did seated, but we're gonna do it standing. So you've got your chair here for support, okay? You've got that chair, you can hang onto that chair. So there is a little bit of balance here. So what I want you to do is put the weight into the leg next to the chair, okay? Then the other foot, you're gonna step into your strap. All right, so now, with my right hand, I'm going to grab that strap. I'm going to hold on my chair, to my chair with my left, and I'm going to lift that leg up. Hello. <laughs> you feeling okay? So keep your abdominals engaged here. Nice long spine. Now, all I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my leg across to my chair, and I'm just going to set my foot right into the seat of that chair and feel that stretch. Notice how my hips have tried to stay forward, right? So I'm trying not to let my hips move with my leg. Okay, now I'm going to bring this leg out, and then I'm going to open it up. Hold that chair. This is not for balance. Don't worry about balance right now. We're going to come back center. Let's bring it across again. Make sure your abdominals are engaged, though, right? Even though I'm holding that chair, I want to still have my abs engaged. Let's come center. Out we go. and center and let's release that and we're going to come to the other side so we do have one more thing we're going to add on but let's do the other side first and then we'll add that on okay so again i've got the weight in the leg next to the chair super important that we go with the, with the right leg the correct leg okay so now my left leg is going to step into that strap you see that this is the hand i'm going to grab those str that strap i'm going to I don't know, I like to choke up just a little bit. Does that, that work for you as I lift that leg up? I just feel like I have a little more control. All right, my abdominals are engaged. My spine is long. Crown of the head to the ceiling. Let's bring that leg across and just set it in the seat of the chair. Feel the stretch. Keep those hips facing forward. Ha, all right, are we ready? Let's open, and then we're gonna open that leg up. Hold that chair, right? And then we're going to come center. Then we're going to place that foot back on the chair again. Ah. And center. And let's open one more time. Now we're going to go ahead and add that on to this side. So what I want you to do now is bend your knee. Leave that strap right where it is. And I want you to bring the strap up and over your shoulder. Oh, there's that quadricep, isn't it? You feel that? Okay, so this is, we're moving into dancer pose. So the standing knee is soft, all right? So I've got that standing knee soft. Now here's the thing. If you want to try the balance and you're going to let go of the chair, if you start to fall, I want you to drop the strap. So I have seen this happen in my class. Somebody is standing here and then all of a sudden they just fall over. I want you to drop the strap and put your foot down, okay? So don't just drop that strap or don't do it, right? Just keep holding onto the chair. But if you want to give it a try, let me get back in here. I just kind of wanted to show you that whole idea of dropping that strap. <laughs> All right. So here we go. We're going to let go of the chair. Belly tight, right? Balance is all about abdominals. And then we're just going to extend that arm out. There's your dancer pose. Lovely. One more breath here, grab the chair, 
and release. Okay, let's do dancer on the other side. So remember, we're going to step that right foot into the into the strap, okay? We're going to lift it up. Now, all you're going to do is bend your knee and bring that strap up back and behind, okay? And if the, the strap on the foot kind of moves to the ankle, it's okay. doesn't matter. It doesn't have to stay on the foot. It can be on the ankle. Okay, we're holding that chair for right now. We've got our abdominals as tight as we can get them. We're going to let go of the chair, and we're going to bring our hand up. One more breath here. Bring that hand back down and release. Very, very good. Okay, so let's just set our strap down for right now. And we're going to move forward. So what I want you to think about is that the arches of your feet are even with the front legs of the chair. Okay, so I'm not back here. I know everybody wants to hang on to that. You'll see why here in just a minute. Go ahead and take a step forward, okay? Now, with this leg, the leg next to the chair, okay? Your left leg, you're going to take a step back onto those toes. And now see, the chair is right in the right place, isn't it? So you've got that chair right here to hold on to. Okay, so now what I'd like for you to do is bend, is take your front foot and heel toe it out one time, okay? So what I want you to have is some space between your front foot and your back foot. You're on your back toes, so you're not on that, that foot isn't flat, you're up on those toes if that feels okay. All right, bend your front knee a little bit more. You should be feeling quite a stretch here on this back leg. Now, we're going to pull our belly in really tight. We're going to let go of the chair, and we're going to bring our hands to heart. How does that feel? Everybody okay? All right, get your balance. Make sure your feet, you've got space between those feet. And what I call this is we want railroad tracks, not feet on a tight rope, but you want your feet on railroad tracks, okay? So you want some space between them. All right, we're going to inhale to prepare. Exhale, we're going to bring our hands to the ceiling. Here we are in a beautiful crescent lunge. Now, you're going to windmill and face your chair. Oh, there's some balance, right? Hands to the ceiling. Windmill and face the other way. I know, it's challenging. Hands to the ceiling. Bring your hands back to heart. Grab the chair. Whoa, and release. Oh, how did that feel? I know, so we've got a bit of work going on in those legs, don't we? A little bit of work for the legs. Okay, so let's do the other side. So remember, we, now you know why I want you to start forward. So when you step back, you've got that chair right in the right place. So we're going to step back with the leg next to the chair. Okay, so the right leg. Take that step back. Be up on those toes. Let's heel toe that front foot out a little bit, right? See what's happened there? I'm on my back toes. I'm not on, my foot's not flat. This front foot is out, my hips are forward, and we'll bend that front knee. There we go. There's a beginning of a crescent lunge, right? Belly tight. Let's bring our hands to heart to start. See how that feels. Okay, inhale to prepare. Exhale, extend the arms up. There's a beautiful crescent lunge. Okay, we're gonna windmill and face our chair. Windmill those arms. You feel it? Okay, hands to the ceiling. We're going to windmill the other way. Ready? We got this. Hands to the ceiling. Grab the chair and release it. Oh my goodness. Okay, very, very good. So we're going to move into Humble Warrior. And I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to put, we're going to come back to the strap here in just a minute. But I'm going to set it under my chair just to get it out of my way for right now. So why don't you join me in doing that, and that way we know we're not gonna trip over it or it's not in the seat of the chair in our way. Okay, so I'm gonna turn and I'm gonna face the seat of my chair. Now, again, the leg next to the back of the chair, I know I'm uh, like a harping on that, but that's the one you wanna take a little step under the chair. So when you bend your knee, you're gonna to touch the chair, okay? So you see what's happening there? I'm bending my knee and it's touching, okay. So now I'm going to take this back foot and I'm going to step it back. 
Now this time I'm not on my toes. I've got that back foot down, okay? So it's at that angle. So the heel is down. My hips are facing the chair and I'm gonna bend my front knee. We're gonna move into a warrior one, okay? So let's go ahead and pull our belly in, thinking about lengthening through the tailbone. Belly is tight. Bring your hands to heart, okay? Inhale to prepare, exhale. We're gonna hand our, have our hands come up towards the ceiling for a full version of our warrior one pose. Now, bring your hands back behind you. Interlace your fingers. Press those fingers down towards the, the floor. Do you see what's happening? I'm lifting up, my chest is opening. Now, we're gonna bow over that front leg. You wanna keep that front knee bent, okay? So I'm bowing over that front leg. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my outside shoulder, my left shoulder, and I'm gonna bring it over towards that front knee. One more breath here. Let's take the twist out, come back up to standing. And let's just take a little break. We're gonna do that again on this side. And we're gonna see if maybe your forehead will come to the chair. So instead of doing the crossing over, you're gonna stay straight and see if you can get your forehead down. It doesn't matter, right? This, I'm just giving you options, I'm giving you ideas. But we're gonna stay on this side and do it one more time and then we'll go to the other side, okay? So humble warrior. So let's do it again. So we got this foot next to the back of the chair. We're gonna bend that knee, touching. Bring that back foot back behind you foot is at that 45 degree angle. Face, hips face your chair, bend that front knee, touch that chair, pull that belly in, lengthen through that tailbone. So my weight is back, right? My weight's not up here, my weight is back. Bring your hands to heart. Okay, are we ready? Inhale to prepare. Exhale, extend those arms up to the ceiling. See how that feels. There's our warrior one pose. Now, I'm going to clasp my hands behind my back, interlace the fingers, push those knuckles down towards the floor. See how I'm opening up through the chest? Front knee stays bent. Okay, are we ready? Now, this time as we come forward, instead of bringing that shoulder across to the opposite knee, we're just going to begin to let the head fall towards the chair. And then the arms are going to lift up back behind you. And we just have one more breath here. Okay, pull your belly in, push through that front heel. Let's come back up to standing. There's your power move. Make those legs work. And release. How did that feel? That front leg was working hard, wasn't it? Let's do the other side. So here we are. We're gonna come across to the other side. Put that foot under. Make sure that when you bend the knee, it touches, stepping back, back foot at that 45 degree angle, hips are forward, bend that front knee. So I, I don't know if you noticed, but see how far away I am from my chair? So I was just inching my foot forward a little bit. Now, I'm, I wanna be able to touch that chair, okay? So it's just a little adjustment that I made, right? Hips forward, bring your hands to heart. Okay, inhale to prepare. Pull that belly in, lengthen through that tailbone. Exhale, extend those arms up. Keep that front knee bent. Beautiful warrior one pose. Okay, we're gonna do a humble warrior. Clasp your hands behind your back, interlace your fingers, push those knuckles down. See how I'm lifting up through the heart? Now, the first one, when we come down, I want you to take this shoulder and bring it across to that knee, okay? So I'm coming down, I'm gonna take my shoulder across my body, to that bent knee and my arms are lifting up back behind me. One more breath here. Let's go ahead and come up to standing. Can we just do it? Let's do it. This one's gonna be forehead towards the chair. Press those knuckles down, lift through that heart, squeeze those shoulder blades behind. Now, as I come down, my forehead is gonna to come towards the mat. My arms are coming up back behind me. Humble warrior. One more breath. Okay, you're gonna push through that front heel. There's your power move. 
Lift that heart up and release. Okay, very, very good work. Now we're going to do a warrior one, but we're going to move into a pyramid pose, okay? So we're going to stay on this side of the chair. We've got that foot under. We know, kind of know our warrior one now, don't we? Pull that belly in, right? Lengthen through the tailbone. Bring your hands to heart. Stand down that back leg. Okay, inhale here. Exhale, extend those arms up to that warrior one. Now the difference is, instead of leaving that front knee bent, now we're going to straighten that front leg. <laughs> right? Let's bring our hands back, extend, and then keep that front leg straight, and then come down. Oh yeah, there's that hamstring. Do you feel that? Now listen to my voice. What I want you to do now is let go of the hands. Bring them into the seat of the chair. Okay? Ha! Ah. How's that feel? Little pyramid pose. Alright, let's go ahead and lift up and grab that chair and let's go to the other side. Okay. So now I've got, again, the leg next to the back of the chair. I want to bend that knee, step back on that back heel, right? Hips are forward, bend the knee, touch the chair. Lots of stuff to remember, I know, but we've done this one a few times now. I think we kind of got it, don't we? Bring your hands to heart. Pull that belly in, lengthen through that tailbone. Inhale, exhale, extend those arms up. All right, now we're going to straighten that front leg. Let's bring the hands back behind us. Lengthen nice and long. Keep the front leg straight. Come forward. Okay, now let's let go of the, ch of the hands and place them in the seat of our chair. And just see if you can lower your heart anymore, right? So a little bit of triangle pose here. So there's the hamstring stretching. You feel that? That front leg is straight. My hips are forward. Oh, that feels so good to me. One more breath here. And come up. And release. Very good. All right, let's come back to seated. Now we're going to do another uh, pose with our strap if you have it. If you don't have it, obviously you'll do it without it. It's fine. But if you're with me, we're going to strap that around the ball of that right foot. And I'm going to put my heels on the floor. Lengthen through the spine. Now, I'm just going to walk my hands down that strap. And that's just giving me a little extra stretch. We're really warm. So we can encourage that hamstring to open just a little bit more. So this is a seated pyramid pose. We just did a standing pyramid pose. Now we're doing a seated pyramid pose with the strap. And one more breath here and let's release that. Go ahead and unravel and let's do the other side. All right, so we're gonna do that. I'm gonna lengthen through the spine, keep my back flat as I walk my hands down that strap. Remember, the other thing, too, is looking out, not down. That's going to help you keep that back flat. We want this leg straight, so we're not bending the knee. We're keeping the leg straight, and we're just letting that, that hamstring. We're giving it some love. One more breath. All right, let's unravel the strap, and we're just going to set it down by our side. Now, I'm going to take my ankle, and I'm going to place it on my knee. If this doesn't feel good for you for pigeon pose, you're going to stay ankle to ankle. It's a great option. The other thing you can do if you want a little bit more that might work is you extend your leg and then you bring that ankle up more towards the shin. Okay? So I've got, you've got three versions here that work for you. My, the version I'm going to do is ankle to knee. Okay? Works for me, so I'm going to hang out here. Just for a couple of breaths, now lengthening through the spine, if you wish, and letting that heart begin to fall forward, that's going to get a little deeper into that stretch. Okay, let's tuck the chin and roll it up. And we're going to rock our baby. 
So I'm just going to lift my leg up and I want to move that leg back and forth. So this is for the hip joint. And then I'm going to set that leg down and then I'm going to lengthen through the spine one more time and let my heart fall forward. So one more little add-on if you like it is just to press gently on that leg. Okay, let's release it and we're going to go to the other side. All right, so remember you've got ankle to ankle is a version. You've got ankle to shin. That's another version. And if you're with me, we're going to do ankle to knee. And we're hanging out here first. We're just feeling the stretch. Then we're going to lengthen through the spine and begin to let the heart fall forward. I know. Okay, let's go ahead and lift up. Now lift, um, go ahead and reach down and grab your leg and we're going to rock our baby a little side to side. And then we're going to place that leg down, lengthen through the spine, begin to let that heart fall forward. And if you want, you can just press gently here. Ah, we just have one more breath. All right, let's move into Shavasana Pose. So we're going to sit back in our chair, lean back if you wish. Hands are going to rest lightly on your thighs. Flip your palms up towards the ceiling. Close your eyes. Take a deep breath in. And a full breath out. Meaningful Path. With all its goings on, life often seems like an intentional assault on you. But that's rarely the case. Your best approach is not to take it personally. The distractions and frustrations are just part of reality. You can accept that reality with all it encompasses. Then you're able to keep on going in the direction of your original intent. There was a time not so long ago when you felt peaceful, focused, confident, filled with purpose. You were in that state and now you can get back to it again. It's not as far away as it seems. In fact, just thinking about being more peaceful starts to get you feeling more peaceful. The petty interruptions and distractions will come and go, and through it all, you can continue following a meaningful path. Know that deeply, and no mere distraction will have the power to distract you for long. Take a deep breath in, and a full breath out. Drop your right ear towards your right shoulder. Reach up with the right hand. Give the head a gentle tug, pressing that left hand down towards the floor. Release it. Drop your chin towards your chest. Reach up with your hands. Give the head a gentle tug. Release it. Drop your left ear towards your left shoulder. Reach up with the left hand. Give the head a gentle tug, pressing that right hand down towards the floor. Release it. Look up just slightly. Open your mouth if you want to stretch your jaw. Bring your hands to your heart. Honoring one another, we say Namaste. Very well done, my fellow Bottoms Downies. We have made it to the end of day 18. I think one of the hardest parts is just getting to our chair. And once we're here, it's fabulous. So just keep showing up. Click the subscribe button. Leave me a comment. I will see you tomorrow.